these astounding inventions show to that civilizations of the past were a lot more advanced than we might have thought. Hey guys, we are from the channel One More Curiosity. And today we're going to see the ancient technology that was centuries ahead of its time. We like to think of technological innovations as a gradual, steady and fairly linear process. However, this is not necessarily the case. Archaeological excavations throughout the world reveal that once in a while ancient civilizations developed inventions that were decades, if not centuries, ahead of their time. The number one, the Greek fire, flames that don't go out. When the Muslim fleet of the Umayyad Caliphate attempted to lay siege to the Byzantine city of Constantinople in 674, their ships were doused in flames. At first, the Muslims were not alarmed. Fire was often used in naval warfare and could be put out easily with cloth, dirty, or water. This, however, was no ordinary fire. Once ignited, it could not be extinguished. And after the entire fleet had burned down, even the sea itself was set ablaze. The Umayyad Caliphate met its doom at the hands of a new military invention known as Greek fire, Roman fire, liquid fire, or sea fire, among many other names. No recipe survives, but historians speculate it might have involved petroleum, sulfur, or gunpowder. Of the three, petroleum seems like the likest candidate, as gunpowder didn't become readily available in Asia, minor until the 14th century. And sulfur lacked the destructive power described by Arab observers. Number two, Antikythera mechanism, a cosmic clock before Copernicus, the Antikythera mechanism was found off the coast of Antikythera, a small Greek island located between Kythera and Crete. Its discovery occurred in 1901, when divers in, sea, in search of sea sponges stumbled upon a deposit of a sunken wreckage from classical antiquity. The titular corporation was incomplete and in poor condition, but seemed to have consisted of some seven, th 37 bronze gears stored inside a wooden box. Schoolers initially speculate that the Antikythera mechanism, which was found to be over 2,200 years old, had functioned as an ancient computer. This hypothesis was written off as being too improbable, only to be reaffirmed by more detailed studies from the 1970s. The current consensus holds the mechanism was an orrery, a model of the solar system that calculates and tracks celestial time. <laughs> Number three, Damascus steel, swords that would not do. Damascus steel swords originated in the Middle East during the 9th century and were renowned for their appearance as well as their durability, being multiple times stronger and sharper than the western swords used during the Crusades. Their name derived from the Arabic word for water, reference not only the Syrian city from which they hailed, but also the flowing 
pattern that adorns their surface. This pattern was created during a unique forging process where small ingots of wood steel sourced from India, Sri Lanka or iron were melted with charcoal and cooled at an incredible slow rate. The demand for Damascus steel remained high for centuries, but gradually diminished at source were replaced with firearms in armed conflicts by 1850s. The secret of production process appeared lost. Number 4. The Haofeng Ding Dong He The world's first seismoscope Created almost 2,000 years ago, the Haofeng Ding Dong Yi holds the honor of being the world's first seismoscope. Its place of origins was China, a country that has been plagued by earthquakes for as long as its inhabitants can remember. Its creator was Zhang Heng, a distinguished astronomer cartographer, mathematician, poet, painter, and inventor, who lived under the Han dynasty from 78 to 139. The design of Haofen Ding Dong Yi is as functional as it is aesthetically pleasing. The mechanism consists of a large decorate copper pot the pot was fitted with eight tubed projections that were shaped to look like dragon heads. Below each dragon head was placed a copper toad with a large gaping mouth. Number 5. Roman Concrete Cement that does not crack many architectural projects of ancient Rome would not have been possible without Roman concrete, also known as Opus Caemicticium. Roman concrete was a hydraulic setting cement mix consisting of volcanic ash and lime that, in the words of Pliny the Elder, bounds rock fragments into single stone mesh and made them impregnable to the waves and every day stronger. The earliest known reference to Roman concrete dates to 25 before Christ and comes from manuscriptural titles, 10 books on architecture, written by an architect and engineer, Vitruvius. Vitruvius recommended builders use volcanic ash from the city of Pozzuoli in Naples, call it Pozzolana or Puvis Puteanus in Latin. Pozzolana should be mixed with lime at a ratio of 3.1 or 2.1 if the construction is underwater. Number 6. Baghdad Battery, a rudimentary taser for pain relief. Archaeologists use the term Baghdad Battery to refer to a ceramic pot, copper tube, and an iron rod that were found in Iraq near what was once the capital of both Parthian and subsequent Sasanian Empire. They believe the three distinct objects once fitted together to create a single device. The purpose of this device, which seems to have been capable of generating electricity, remains unclear. Wilhelm Koenig, director of Iraq Antiquities Department, the same organization whose employers first found the battery, originally theorized that it was used as a galvanic cell to electroplate 
objects. This theory, though widely accepted upon its initial publication, does not hold up as no electroplate objects from the same time period and region have been discovered so far. In 1993, Paul Kayser from the University of Alberta in Edmonton formulated a different, less anachronistic and therefore more plausible hypothesis. The battery, he argued, functioned not as a galvanic cell but a lo local anesthetic that could relieve pain through transmitting an electrical charge. In doing so, it would have replaced electric fish, which Greco-Roman societies were sometimes used to treat headaches, gout, and other conditions. If you like this video, leave the comment and subscribe to the channel to follow more trivia videos. See you next time.